tell you, you filed in here like a really great, mature group. When they told me sixth graders were coming, I was like, uh. But you have done a great job, and so I appreciate it. I actually was blessed to write a book that just came out. How many of you like amusement parks? Like Six Flags, Fiesta, Texas? Me too, can't get enough of them. Love to get season passes so I can go as often as I like. Um, my book is uh, basically a story that takes place at an amusement park. I don't identify what, which amusement park it is. I just say amusement park or theme park. And the book is, uh, the story is called Extreme Ride Wish, An Untwinable Day. And it literally just came out this week. And this is what the actual book looks like. I have two printed copies. Exactly. Somebody is paying attention. And so what happened is actually when I was blessed to write this book, I uh, was able to put it into an ebook format at first. Any, anybody know how to use a Nook or Kindle? Okay, so it's available as an ebook, and then the, the printed book will actually officially come out around Thanksgiving. So anyway, um, some of the terms in here are probably very familiar to you, but I don't want to assume anything. How many of you know what um, an extreme ride is? Okay, what do you think an extreme ride is? something that is Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Extreme ride, yes, ma'am. Something that you think of, a type of ride that you think you can't ride. You almost can't ride them. They make them so scary. And like you said, um, makes your heart pound. They basically test your courage. So this is some information about extreme rides up there. Can, can I read that and then? If you hold on to your thought or your question, extreme rides have components that may cause riders some disorientation, a sense of weightlessness, and some air time. They may have excessive speeds and many thrill elements. They offer fun and thrills shot through with a bit of terror. Extreme rides test people's courage. And then some examples of extreme elements are down below. Would someone read the Camelback Hill for me? Yes, ma'am. And you, could you read Cobra Roll after she's done? Okay, Camel. Yes, ma'am, Camel back here. Can you see? 